And the only way to really show somebody that hasn't gone through the post-production process is to watch a film without music and then watch it when the music goes in. Through that process, you can see how profoundly music changes your perception of the scene. I was aiming towards being a conductor. So I was studying a lot of scores and, and I, was, I was absolutely blown away by the playing. The orchestra playing in the 40s and 50s in Hollywood. And the older I get, the more impressed I am by um, the playing. It's a extremely unique style that is essentially anachronistic now. Nobody, nobody plays like that now. So as a student of history in music and being trained in orchestra playing, um, I was able to appreciate the absolute uniqueness and beauty and the leadership that it took to get people to play. I think you can learn so much from watching 30s and 40s and 50s films, and you're not going to make a film like that. You're going to make your own film and cut the way you want to cut, but Look what they're doing, how, how artful it is. No matter what you do, no matter what the music is, it begins. Before you even know what it is, boom, there's music. And your ear goes, what is that? And it changes your perception of the scene. And if you put music on a shot where it starts, it emphasizes, so you better know what you're doing. Music is commenting on what's going on in a, in a linear way. Uh, it's really a Wagnerian concept, um, what they would call light motives, um, wh which are little musical phrases that you bring back again and again that refer to a place, a thing, a feeling. And now we're in the world of non-Wagnerian, non-thematic film scoring, where the directors and the movies themselves really don't want a lot of music commenting on what's going on. Either you have a big movie, like a Marvel movie, and the music's just kind of noise. I mean, it's just, it's going all the time, pumping and going, you know. And maybe it has a theme here and there, but it's just kind of going. It doesn't stop all that much because it's, it's so profound when it stops. Or you have an indie film where it's a little more tricky, where you try to find something completely, utterly original that no one's ever heard. And then after a few years of a bunch of indie movies, then that just sounds mainstream. Being, being original sounds unoriginal.